The Battle Cry star Tab Hunter took his last breath on July 8th, just three days shy of his 87th birthday at Cottage Hospital in Santa Barbara, California. His partner, Alan Glazer, confirmed that the cause of his death was a blood clot that led to cardiac arrest. Not just as the beloved boy next door in the 50s Warner Brother classics like Damn Yankees and Burning Hills, the actor was also famous as a blonde, square-jawed, and wholesome symbol of mid-century American masculinity. Hunter, born in 1931 as Arthur Gillian, was gay but opted to keep his sexual orientation a secret throughout his career, only coming out in his autobiography, Tab Hunter Confidential, The Making of a Movie Star, 2005. Here are five facts about the golden boy of the 50s that you might want to know. But before we proceed, take time to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be part of our family. Number 5. Served in the military at 15. To join the army, one must be at least 17 years old, but surprisingly, Tab joined the military at just 15. He did so by lying about his age to enlist in the U.S. Coast Guard, where he obtained the nickname Hollywood because of his preference of watching movies rather than going to bars and parties during his free time. When the truth about his age was discovered, he immediately got discharged from the military. After his discharge, the famous actor Dick Clayton suggested that he try acting. Number 4. 35-Year-Long Relationship Hunter and Alan Glazer first met each other during the early 80s, when Tab was 52 and Glazer was 23. The couple lived in a farmhouse at Santa Barbara with their pet horse, Harlow, not far from Oprah Winfrey's mansion. Probably his choice to not reveal his sexuality in the height of his career during the 60s and 70s was a wise decision he made. It was only in 2005 when he finally came out in his autobiography, Tab Hunter Confidential, The Making of a Movie Star which was later adapted into the movie of the same name. Number 3. Faked his relationship with co-stars When Hunter was born, homosexuality was considered a taboo and homosexual people were not accepted in society, especially in Hollywood. So, he kept secret romances with figure skater Ronnie Robertson and film star Anthony Perkins before settling down with Glazer. However, he used to go out with his co-stars Natalie Wood and Debbie Reynolds just to pretend that he was dating girls. Before the LGBT rights movement broke out in the 60s, his sexuality was handled with innuendo by the media. The closeted movie star constantly worried that his private life, which was totally different from his public life, would become the front page fodder for gossip rag. Number 2. Grew up amidst family troubles Hunter's parents were both German immigrants who lived in New York City, where he was born. His father, Charles Kelm, was abusive to his mother, Gertrude Gillian, a nurse. As a result, his mother fled with him and his brother, Walter, when they were very young. Afterward, they relocated to San Francisco, Long Beach, and Los Angeles. His devout German mother, who brought him up very privately, inspired him not to talk about his sexuality. Number 1. Chart-Topping Singer Apart from his astounding movie career, he was also an avid musician who charted the billboard. His cover of the song Young Love became one of the biggest hits of the rock and roll era, staying at number one on Billboard Hot 100 for six weeks in the U.S. and seven weeks in the U.K. The record sold over one million copies and was awarded a gold disc by the RIAA. Similar success was followed by the single 99 Ways, which peaked at number five in the U.K. and number 11 in the U.S. His success prompted film executive Jack L. Warner to enforce his contract with Warner Brothers Studio by banning Dot Records, the label for which he had recorded the singles. What did you like most about the late actor? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.